let's look at Euclid's book 3 proposition 2. Now it says that given a circle, if you pick any two random points, doesn't matter where they are, then the line segment joining A and B will always lie inside the circle. It will never, that line segment joining A and B will never be outside. It will always be inside. Now, we should be able to prove this. Now, to prove this, we will use proof by contradiction. Now, whenever we are using proof by contradiction, we assume the opposite of what is supposed to be true, right? So, let us say A and B, we can join them without actually being inside the circle. So, let's say this is the line joining A and B and we assume that it is a straight line. Remember, we are uh, we, we can see that it is not a straight line, but for argument's sake, let's assume that it is a straight line segment joining A and B, lying on the circumference of the circle. And let's pick a point on that. And we join all these points. And we also mark the point of intersection of the circle with the, with the line segment D, E, K. Now remember, a can be anywhere, B can be anywhere. Keeping that in mind, how can we prove uh, that this is this is not possible at all? Remember, DF is less than DE. Why? Because we assume that E is outside the circle. That means it is a, a point on the line segment joining A and B lying outside the circle. So, which means this point also can be anywhere. Remember the assumption is that this is a straight line. A, E, B is a straight line. So, keeping that in mind, we can say that since D, B is equal to D, A, that means angles opposite to equal sides is equal. That means DAE is equal to DB. So this angle is equal to this angle. Again, keeping in mind that this is a straight line, this will be an external angle to this triangle. And external angle is greater than this angle. We have seen this in uh, um, uh, one of the propositions in book 1. That means DBE and DEB, if we compare them, then we will notice that DEB angle will also be greater than DBE. Since this angle is greater than this, this angle is equal to this. That means DEB is also greater than DBE. That means what? That means since this angle is greater than this angle, that means this side DB is going to be the largest. That means it is going to be greater than DE. Why? The side opposite to the greater angle is greater. So that means DB is greater than DE. But remember, DF is equal to DB. Why? Because they are both radii of the same circle. So, which means DF is greater than DE. So, we have reached a contradiction. Because remember, we assume that E is outside the circle. That means its length will be greater than the radius. But here we have reached a conclusion that df is greater than de and since we have reached a contradiction our original assumption was wrong again remember we can move this anywhere it will always be the same case so that is proposition two of book three of elements this construction looks a little bit uh, tricky but remember we can assume this because anyhow we have already thought it out and said, okay, it is going to be 
pause. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book in which I describe all these propositions. Feel free to download, refer to it and share it if you like. That's it for now.